Alright guys, so hitting the Goodwill store this morning, um, gonna do another haul video. At the end of this video, I'm gonna put it all in one. Um, today is Wednesday, so it's half off day. We're gonna go to the Salvation Army. And I'm also gonna hit a couple of pawn shops. I think somebody uh, mentioned to me that uh, I haven't actually done any inside pawn shop videos. I think I did in one of them, I have to check. But uh, I'm gonna make sure to do one today for you guys. I'm gonna hit three or four of the pawn shops uh, in between the Goodwill outlet that I go to and the Salvation Army since it's half off day. Um, so we're gonna hit everything all at once. Goodwill outlet, can't film in there. So we'll just go there and then I'll do a haul video out of that for you at the end of this video. I will film inside of the pawn shop and inside of the Salvation Army. And then we'll also do as part of the haul video what I bought from the pawn shops and what I bought from the Salvation Army because I know a lot of you guys wanna know um, if you don't have a Goodwill outlet or you can't go to them uh, and you can only go to pawn shops or Salvation Armies or yard sales, what you can buy from those places. So I'll make sure to add that into the haul section of this video at the end. So let's run into the outlet store, let's get my stuff there, and then when I come back out, the next stop will be um, at the first pawn shop. So I'll see you guys shortly. All right guys, so done at the outlet store, drove across here. Um, it's around two, uh, it's like 145, so you can get an hour or two at the pawn shops. This is a local Florida Cash America pawn and fine jewelry. Um, so we're going to head into this one and we're going to see what we can find uh, inside of here, see if they've got any deals, anything we can buy for Amazon or maybe eBay. We'll see. Alright guys, we're inside the uh, first Cash America. There I am parked outside. So they had some games. These are all marked 99 cents. They're PS2 games, but for a dollar we can probably net three or four on Amazon for these, so I always pick these up when they're 99 cents. It's like their video game section. DVDs. So basically we'll just scroll through these. We'll check the prices against Amazon prices and we'll see if, uh, if there's any room for us to make any money. Like this Lego Pirates of the Caribbean Xbox 360. You might be able to do something with that. We'll check it out. Um, Sonic. Uh, yeah, then they've got DVD sections. They always sell a lot of TVs. Can't ship those, so I never buy those. Um, speakers, sound systems, anything too big, I don't usually buy. They got an iHome, but they're asking 15. Even if I got it for 10, it's too much. Just a generic Apple one. I love. These are all the big things: speakers, sound systems, um, laptops. Typically, they are, they're asking too much for laptops. So I've bought one or two, but it's rare. So I don't even usually look at those too much. More speakers. Over there, you can see they've got guitars. Tools. Pretty much the only things that I look for here, though, are games, iPods, little stuff. Things that I can ship and, of course, make money on. So I'm going to keep looking and uh, I'll let you guys know what I get out of here. Alright, we're at the Salvation Army here. You guys can probably see that. If you can, there you go. Salvation Army. And I just ran in there real quick and it's late. It's 3.30 right now. And they are picked clean. There is nothing. There was a couple little things, but literally there's a line and nothing worth really buying out of the half off day. I'm kind of disappointed. Um, literally, I saw like one Tommy Bahama shirt and they increased the price. Tommy Bahama shirts used to be $5 and I would get them on half off day for like $2.50 and now they're $7, which moves the price up to $3.50, which is still okay because I usually sell them for like 14, 15 bucks. But you can see how I feel like everybody is really out to get resellers lately. Like they know what we're in there for. They know what their prices are good for. Like why keep just inching the prices up and up and up? It's really disappointing. It's really frustrating. And it's kind of depressing to see. Goodwill, you know, Goodwill used to be a place you could go to the retail store and buy a fortune in goods and make a lot of money. And now you can't even go in there and, and you might find one or two things unless you really get lucky or you really, really know what you're looking for. And it's just tough. And now as I go in Salvation Army, 
on regular non half off days it's it's nearly impossible to buy anything out of there it's the prices are just as bad as goodwill the only reason i go in the salvation army is for wednesdays and it is for half off days and now even those are starting to get a little out of hand so i'm really you know down to yard sale garage sale weekends and the goodwill outlet every day which is fine because the goodwill outlet is stocked full of good stuff there's a couple days here and there that it's not very good but typically you know i can go in there and buy a couple hundred pieces of goods for 30 bucks and and turn it into three or four hundred dollars which is fine um you know the same as we do on a yard sale if we have a really good yard sale week in our community sale we can you know spend 50 bucks and turn it into two or three hundred but it's just sad to see especially when i know that not everybody has goodwill outlets that they can go to that their options elsewhere are kind of dwindling and i don't know is this just my area that everything is going through the roof because there's so many resellers here in florida or is this everywhere is everybody's salvation army prices going up everybody's goodwill retails through the roof tell me what what it is like in your area um and how you do because i'm interested i'm curious if it's just around here um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and head home and do the haul video for you guys since this one was kind of a failure at the half off day it kind of sucks but uh i did get some really good stuff at the outlet store and a couple things at the pawn shop so i'll show you guys in just a minute all right guys what's up i'm home with the uh the purchases from today uh it's wednesday it is july 13th and i just realized it's 40 minutes till ups closes i have to get packages out to ups it's only around the corner but i still gotta pack them up so i gotta hurry this haul video because part of what I'm shipping out is in this haul video. Uh, it's items to be listed that I give one of my employees that lives a little bit away from me. So I gotta get the haul video done and then I gotta pack it up and ship it and then get it to UPS. So I gotta hurry, hurry, hurry. So we're just gonna dive right into this. I apologize for going so fast guys, but hopefully this uh, gives you guys some more ideas for stuff to buy and lets you get a little bit of a glimpse into what I bought today. Uh, purchasing at the Goodwill Outlet store was uh, $32. So. We'll start with that. Uh, you know I didn't buy anything at the Salvation Army because I didn't get to go because of because uh, of today just being crazy. So um, we'll start with, um, this is a uh, Pronto Umo shirt. This is sold at Men's Warehouse. This is a polo, it's silk. Um, and this size, I think this is a 2X, right? Yeah, this is a 2X, so this will sell really good. These shirts at Men's Warehouse are like $60, $70, these polos. So used on eBay is a quick 20 bucks. This should sell 2X, uh, good, Good condition, good colors, good everything, probably um, $20. I'm gonna list it for $19.99 and best offer. Hopefully we get the $20 out of it. Uh, and that's Pronto Umo. Let's see if you guys can see that tag right there. P-R-O-N-T-O-U-O-M-O. -O -O. U-O, yeah, U-O-M-O. -O. Really good brand, they sell it at Men's Warehouse. I'm sure they sell it elsewhere, but that's where I always buy them. I buy them at Men's Warehouse myself. I really like those shirts. And when I buy them, they're typically like 60, 70 bucks. So I wait till they have that Men's Warehouse 50% uh, off everything sale and then um, I get them for like 35 bucks so it's worth it then I'm 60 70 bucks is expensive for one shirt it's a lot of money um, picked up a uh, oh this one was a really cool uh, land before time nurses um, scrub you guys know how I like those scrubs and this is this is aimed towards like a labor and delivery nurse it says just hatched and it's the land before time coming out of eggs. It's Ducky and Sarah and Littlefoot all coming out of a thing. So somebody in labor and delivery would really, really love this. Any nurse might like this, but especially a labor and delivery. Um, so, you know, this is about a quarter worth of cost and probably, I don't know, hopefully it sells for 10, 12 bucks. Um, let's just keep moving along here because I got to kind of hurry this. I got to get out of here uh, in like 10 minutes. This is a motherhood maternity dress thing. This was really cute. This is for a smaller pregnant lady. It's not gonna fit a nine month pregnant lady. It's a small, but I think this is a quick sell. It's super cute. It's motherhood maternity, which is expensive to begin with. Maternity clothes are expensive. I think this is pretty good for like $15. It's really lightweight. It'll go first class and it was really cheap to buy. So really, really like the maternity stuff. I always sell maternity stuff pretty well, but I don't ever get enough of it. Um, let's move on. What else do we get? Uh, just an Aeropostale sweater, like a $10 sweater. Um, just a normal one of our sales. Um, let's see. Again, American Eagle stretch sweater. These sell really good, these stretchy sweaters, these stretchy tops, the ones with the, uh, this. This one's a large, but uh, it'll still sell well. It's green, it's a good color. These greens for girls sell good. People put them away, wear them in winter. They can't wear them now because it's summer, but they will put them away and wear them. Um, Abercrombie, little t-shirt for a girl. Just some of our normal 
purchases. Abercrombie. Abercrombie sells really, really well. Blue striped. You know, eight to ten bucks. Stuff we're paying a quarter for. Um, another nurse's scrub. This one is full of dolphins, so it's a good sea life one. It's a large. It'll sell well. Probably ten bucks. So always pick up the cute scrubs. Uh, let's see what else we got here. <laughs> this is a really funny shirt. It says. Happier than a unicorn eating cupcakes on a rainbow. Check this shirt out. Somebody's gonna get a good kick out of this one. Love that shirt, I couldn't resist grabbing that. Um, okay, we're gonna keep moving here. Oh, I actually just sold this identical shirt for $8. Little Girls, fabulous Las Vegas. Grabbed it again, it was about a quarter by weight. So really, really good. Oh, yeah, this was super cool, I remember this. This was a Walt Disney World Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. You can see it, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse bathrobe for a little kid. Super cute, this is gonna sell right away. I imagine it even has the Mickey ears. I bet this doesn't take more than two days to sell. This will be sold by the weekend, guaranteed, at probably 12 to $14. Um, I picked up, now I almost passed on these, but I couldn't. These are Nike, and they're adult men's, adult men's, white baseball pants. Now you can see, I know you see it in the video, they have dirt stains, but you can get them out, trust me. And these pants, if you can get these clean, are worth every bit of $20, especially Nike brands. The last two pair I put up for $19.99 after cleaning them, sold, people couldn't be happier. I put them as used with light, light stains, a little bleach, a little clean, you know, tied, a little everything. It will come out of these, I promise you. They will come almost as, just like new. They'll be like a 9.9 .9 out of 10, and they will sell for $20. Cost on these, about a dollar. Got two pair of these today, so I'm really, really happy. Here's the second one. Really happy about that, $40 in two pairs. Remember, my total cost on this whole bag was $30, $32, I think. Um, this is an interesting purchase that I wasn't sure I was gonna buy or not, but I decided in the end to get it. Couldn't find anything, um, couldn't find anything comparable, but the name brand everyone knows. This is Vera Bradley. It's a small, and it's a coat. It's kind of like a little coat with padded shoulders, and it's got all kinds of sailing stuff on it. Sailing boats and anchors and life rings. I don't know if this is gonna sell, and if so, how good it's gonna sell, but I probably paid about a buck and a half to two bucks for it, so I'm willing to take a chance on something that I know the name brand uh, Vera Bradley and that I know has a chance so we'll see I'm not sure uh, pair of Simpsons bed pants and it's in really good condition they're large so they'll sell probably eight bucks nothing major there uh, we'll keep digging let's see what else yes so this is a Ralph Lauren medium 14 and a half fitted shirt and there was actually four of these on the rack that was one um, here are the rest of them. There's two, three, and four. All four on the rack, one after another. I'm gonna sell these in a lot. These cost about a dollar a piece. I'm into these for about four bucks. I'm gonna sell these in a lot for like $40. I think these will sell better as a lot. If they don't, I'll individualize them. I'll put them up for 15 a piece and take the first 10 that makes me an offer. Uh, either way, they're still profitable, but as a lot, I really like stuff if you get them the same size to lot them up. They'll sell pretty quick. Um, okay, let's move on quickly. Uh, Tommy Hilfiger Polo, just another one of our regular purchases. Uh, let's try to see if there's anything cool in these bags that are uh, unique, different. Um, this one was kind of cool. This is a uh, DKNY New York City um, jacket, zip-up jacket. And it says DKNY, and it says New York City. And in the DKNY, I don't know if you guys can see that, it's like the Statue of Liberty in the Empire State Building. Cool little hoodie, probably twelve, thirteen dollars. Um, oh, we got five of the Ralph Lauren shirts. I didn't realize we had five of them. That's awesome. So maybe like it's fifty dollar a lot, like forty nine ninety nine. A uh, little Ralph Lauren polo shirt. They sell quickly. I usually get eight to ten out of those. Couple sweaters. One's Express and one's Abercrombie. So good purchases there. Never turn those down. Um, this is an I Love London shirt. All the European shirts seem to sell well. London, Italy, I always sell those. Um, this is a Dale Earnhardt Jr. Uh, Bass Pro Shop shirt, racing shirt. You guys know I sell that stuff really well. 
And that's the end of this bag with the exception of a Sturgis. This is an actual Sturgis. And this is from um, the 53rd anniversary Sturgis Black Hills, South Dakota bike rally shirt. This will sell instantly for like $12, $14. Um, so that's the end of that bag. The other bag I got was um, about 50, 60 ties. I had her weigh the bag before it and it cost me $6.50. Um, so another 50 or 60 ties. There were Tommy ties, there were Polo ties, there were DKNY ties. Guys, please look at my completed listings. The Electronics Zone 1 on eBay. It's the T-H-E Electronics E-L-E-C-T-R-O-N-I-X Z-O-N-E and the number one on eBay. If you look at my completed listings and search for the word tie, you will see that we average anywhere from one to two ties um, a day. We sold 31 ties last month, 32 ties in June, um, at an average net in-pocket price of $5.50. That's like almost $200. And I could buy 30 ties for like three bucks. So. You're talking about turning three into $200. It's slow sellers, I understand. The inventory sits, they don't sell very quickly, but when they do, it's free profit. It's free inventory nearly, because the first tie that I sell out of this lot, out of this bag, is gonna pay for the entire bag of ties. You might as well grab it, and then instantly you've got 30, 40 ties on active that are profitable when they sell. And eventually, after a few months, you're gonna end up with three, 400 ties active that can be stored in one bin under your bed for you know no storage at all that every time one sells, you're profitable. So it's just things like that to look for and look out uh, and do good on. So hope you guys enjoyed this haul video and the rest of the video from my outing today. Uh, tonight will be the third video, as I promised last night, third video of third on um, how to sell and how to upload your uh, private label inventory into Amazon and Amazon FBA. Um, if there's any questions or concerns about this haul or about any of the other videos, please put them down in the comments uh, and I will answer them. You can also email me directly. My email is down in the description box as well. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching all my other videos, which you can see on my channel at Rockstar Flipper and Video Tab. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow on Thursday. Have a great day guys.